How do we know the New Testament writings date to the first century? Well, gospel stories are mentioned in Paul's writings written in the 50s and 60s. Gospel teachings are quoted or alluded to in 1 Clement written in the 90s. Also in the letters of Ignatius written around 120. Traditions about the authorship of these writings are related in the fragments of Papias, whose writing dates somewhere, as already mentioned, 130, 140. Uh, Second, there is historical corroboration between the New Testament Gospels and other early sources. Several events and personalities mentioned in the Gospels and Acts are mentioned in other historical accounts, such as the writings of Josephus. Moreover, some of the teaching attributed to Jesus has been shown to be consistent with Jewish ideas in circulation prior to the emergence of the Church, as we see in some of the Dead Sea Scrolls. This is exactly what we should expect if the Gospels record the teaching of Jesus and not the later post-Easter ideas of the church. Third, the Gospels and Acts exhibit archaeological and cultural verisimilitude. That is a likeness to the way things really were. The New Testament Gospels and Acts speak of real people like Pontius Pilate, Herod Antipas, Annas, Caiaphas, Herod Agrippa I, Herod Agrippa II, and Roman governors such as Felix and Festus and real events such as the painful death of Agrippa I. They speak of real places such as cities, roads, lakes, mountains, rivers, which are clarified by archaeology or by simply visiting Israel, Turkey, and Greece. They speak of real customs such as Passover, issues of purity, Sabbath observance. They speak of real institutions such as the synagogue and temple, and real offices such as priests, tax collectors, Roman centurions. And they speak of real beliefs such as those of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Fourth, the Gospels and Acts exhibit linguistic verisimilitude. Though written in Greek, the Gospels reflect Aramaic and Hebrew influence at many points, as we should expect if they truly preserve the words of the Aramaic-speaking Jesus and his disciples. Figures of speech, grammar, and vocabulary are what we should expect if the Gospels and Acts truly preserve the words of early first century Jewish speakers. Moreover, the Gospels and Acts exhibit authentic topography, geography, and climate. What they describe is true to the places where events are said to have taken place. In short, it is this verisimilitude in matters of language, topography, culture, and history, often corroborated by other sources, that gives historians and archaeologists confidence that the New Testament Gospels and Acts are sources that should be relied upon in doing Doing research, And, of course, when the archaeologist succeeds in discovering the village for which he is in search, thanks to the Gospels and Acts, this only adds to his and our confidence that the Gospels and Acts are indeed reliable sources.